Hello there guys, Feng here, and welcome to Keeper Roguelike. Okie dokie then, so Keeper Roguelike is currently in alpha. It is a Dungeon Keeper-esque game with roguelike elements in it. Now, I never had the chance to play any of the old Dungeon Keeper games, which I really want to, but they just don't work on the operating systems I use, which is really annoying. However, the uh, I did actually play a game. Uh, I'm trying to think what it was called. Was it Dungeons the Dark Lord? That was it. That was very uh, Dungeon Keeper esque, but it was good. It was good. It was nice. The, the the graphics in that game were actually pretty good. The gameplay itself was very hit and miss. It wasn't quite the the experience I was hoping for. There's an awful lot of micromanagement in in that game, and it can get too much sometimes. But other than that, though, it was pretty solid, pretty solid. And I figured I'd uh, I'd give this a, a crack. So I've only played this for better now. It, it hasn't been that long. I'm I'm still a noob. Things a noob. So yeah, but I just thought I'd watch it. I just want to show you, and because it's really cool. Uh, I think it's in a version Alpha 7 at the moment, and as you can see, settings, there isn't many settings, uh, music on and off, just put the music on, even though you can't hear anything. Uh, Unicode graphics, I have no idea what that does, so that's it. And in game means, which I'll leave on because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. You can view high scores, which uh, doesn't seem to work, and we've got the credits, of course, so yeah. Written designed by Michael Brozowski. I hope I've pronounced that right. I probably haven't, and I apologise. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting, right? You can play as Keeper, Adventure, or Adventure versus Keeper. I have no idea what these two actually are. I haven't been able to get round to actually playing them yet. So for the time being, we're just going to play with Keeper. And what I'll do is I'll have a, I'll have a bit, a bit more of a play around tonight with these two, and we'll see how that goes. But for now, we're going to play Keeper as the more traditional uh, Dungeon Keeper style. So we're going to have game difficulty, yes, and aggressive enemy, yes, definitely. Make it as hard as fucking possible, even though it's uneasy. <laughs> right then, so in short, you are a warlock who has been banished from the lawful world for practicing black magic. You are going to claim the land of Wahanda and make it your domain. Best way to achieve this is to kill absolutely everyone. Use the mouse to dig into the mountain. You can select rectangular areas using the shift key. You'll need access to trees, iron and gold ore, build rooms and traps and prepare for war. You can control them in any time by clicking on them in the minions tab or on the map. So this is an interesting kind of thing with this game. It's real time. Yeah. Much like um, Dwarf Fortress. However, the combat is a bit weird. You can keep it running um, real time if you really want to but if you want to control a unit directly if you click on it then becomes a turn based kind of game it's really weird but it works pretty well okie dokie then so let's uh, get off this right now I'm just going to pause it is it already paused it might already be paused uh, uh oh have I broke the pause button I think I might have uh -oh. I'm sure pause was space and now it's not what the hell have I done Fang, what have you done? You've brought the game already. No. Yeah, it is space. It doesn't seem to be working now. Oh dear. <laughs> Zoom doesn't seem to... Oh dear. We we have no keyboard. Keyboard's gone. Oh, you know why? It's because... Cap locks are on, maybe? Is that why? No, I think I've just broke it. That's great. Okay. So it looks like I've got to pause it manually, which is absolutely superb. Okay. So here we are, this is our space and we can use the arrow keys to no the arrow keys aren't working. There's definitely something wrong with this. Uh oh boy. Oh boy. Oh there we go, and there we got it working. It must be I don't know what the fuck that was, but it's working now, that's good. That's good. It is an alpha guys, bear that in mind. There are gonna be things fucking up in it, there's gonna be bugs, and it will more likely crash, as things do. Okay, so we can now move with the arrow keys, we can now pause with the space, and we can zoom in with Z, as you can see, you can zoom in and out, and we can actually see a lot more here. Okay, so as we can see, is the mountainside, and there's a few iron ores even there, as well as stone and gold ore. That's actually a really nice little deposit there. However, I'm just debating uh, if we should actually build into the... We could be able to. I mean, it's a bit small here, but we can build into this area pretty well. 
and oh it's got loads more iron ore around here as well which is pretty nice so here we are here's our keeper and let me just zoom back in here's our keeper and we got to keep him alive because if he dies then that's it game over so it's very important you keep your keeper alive but he is pretty useful he can um, he can use spells he can also do stuff like research and uh, stuff like that which is really cool and these are little imps so these imps are basically our workers they can um, attack and defend but they're mainly just there for working really so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dig some trees so, dig some trees let's cut some trees not dig some trees so and um, you can all left click and it will do that but if you want to do a box then you need to shift click and as you can see we've got a box now this game is really weird because if you accidentally go across one box that is actually uh, highlighted already it will let you take it off and it won't turn the others on which is really weird so here we go we're gonna do that there we go excellent so there's not actually that much uh, wood there so let's come down a bit more and let's see if we can chop some more trees down over here that should be plenty enough oh what are you doing what are you doing thing I have no idea why, why you not work oh because I'm picking storage well done thing well done okay there is actually our keys as well so probably it s by accident yeah that's what I've done oh in fact there's actually a little uh, there's actually a little um, underscore there so you can actually see what the arc key is that's really cool I didn't actually notice that before because I was playing on the laptop and it's a bit smaller to see so that's cool okay so we want to build trees and we also want to dig our way in now we're going to need to, we're going to, need to build a storage depot um, somewhere so uh, I haven't noticed any I don't have noticed whether it's worthwhile uh, having a storage area close to the entrance I don't, I, I'm not too sure if adventurers uh, the enemy actually comes in and nicks the stuff. I have no idea. Never really thought of that. But I haven't noticed. Mind you, I've, I haven't been alive long enough to notice. So that's probably just me. <laughs> but as I say, you know, this is. I've only been playing for about an hour. And I'm really liking it so far. Even though it's hard as nails. Okay. Well, I think we can leave it at that. So I might just have this area as my storage area. And I can always cut off here and make other rooms. So we're going to. Press OK. There we go. Now we've got a few tabs here. Actually, we might as well just bloody pause it again. So as you can see, this is where we can build all our stuff. And as you can see, each different type of thing needs a certain amount of shit. So, for example, a treasure room requires 5 wood. A training room requires 20 iron. A laboratory needs 15 stone, etc, etc. Now, of course, there's only three resource types at the moment. I suppose gold is technically a resource type as well. But that's all there is at the moment. There might be more in the later dates. I have no idea. And this is your monster log. So as you can see, we can only actually have 40 monsters at the moment. I don't know if you can actually research for a higher cap. But, you know, 40 monsters is a decent enough give or take at the moment. So that's good. And you can click on it and possess it. So we can now go into the um, turn-based bit, even though we don't need to. And as you can see, you can you can move, you can uh, cast spells. We, don't, we only have a healing spell at the moment so that's not too big of a deal but it's really nice that you can actually change that you can also change I think you can change what weapons stuff you're doing but we need to actually make the weapons first so that would be a useful thing to do so let's uh, let's dismiss let me leave the minion there we go still again you see your keys just bear with me um, this here is your spell book, so this is where you can summon your stuff. So I can actually summon more imps if you really want to, but it does require mana. Mana is pretty hard to get unless you're researching. So we're going to leave the four imps for the time being, that should be enough. We can summon humanoids, we can't do it yet because we need beds to breed the humanoids. Beasts, we need cages to trap them. And sorcery is, as you would expect, it's sorcery. This is what you can use with your... Um, your keeper. We need to a library to start researching and we also need a storage room to use the black market. And there's actually a nice keeper PD here. This is like a, an encyclopedia of the game that just shows you what things do and what it unlocks, which is really cool. Really like that. And it also tells you what some of the stuff do as well. So for example the an alarm trap summons all minions, which could be really useful when there's someone trying to get in through your front door. Really cool really cool kind of things it doesn't always tell you on this particular tab here 
Uh, we can make doors, barricades, torches, traps. Um, this tells you what what the tribes are, the NPCs are, and whether they're hostile or friendly with each other. At the moment, it looks like everyone's fairly neutral. And then, of course, you've got your help screen. So let's uh, let's give this a, a, a go, then, shall we? So as you can see, we have uh, imps digging. Yes, digging, not cutting down, digging some trees and shit. So all that wood there. We, bear in mind we can't actually use this wood yet. As you can see, our uh, stockpile hasn't actually increased yet. That's because you actually need a stockpile first. It needs to be put in the stockpile before it's counted as your um, your wood. So yeah, we need to wait for that. And there's, I don't think there's any way to actually uh, speed up the game over. I have noticed the start a little bit slow sometimes. But once we've got our storage and um, working and all that not then it, we should be okay. Just take a bit longer to mine out these ores though than uh, normal dirt. Well, mountain, as it's got there. <laughs> so yeah. it's really su I'm really surprised how stone works though. You would have thought digging into the mountain would produce stone anyway. But no, they're actually little pockets, which is extremely weird. Maybe it's usable stone, you know. Maybe the stone that you chip off the mountain here ain't no good. Maybe it's shit stone. Yeah, that could be a thing. And as you can see, the mining the gold turns to gold coins. How hilarious is that? That's that's, that's really cool. Shame you, shame you can't do anything like smelting or anything like that. But again, it's alpha. These things might come in at a later dates. You never know. Okay, okay. I wish I could speed this up though. And there's the hint: you need to build a storage room. Are oh, you fucking no? I need to wait for it to dig out. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to stick it there though, or not. I might stick it here, and I might stick some beds there so we can summon stuff, which would be a good idea. So once these are done, come on, maybe ass, maybe ass to Mars. Come on, them two are just standing there going, hoo <laughs> giggity giggity. <sighs> come on, come on, you know, you can do it. You know, you can do it. It's pointly so many more rooms because they could, they could get past this one anyway, who's uh, mining stupidly. Here we go, now can you start mining that one, please? Go mine that one. Go mine that one. There we go, now we've actually got a production going. Brilliant. Come on. Come on. Right. So while I'm under that, I'm just going to do a shift and left click. I'm going to wait for them to finish. And then we've got this big massive area as our storage. So that's cool. Now in the storage, pretty much everything will go into the storage. Your ores, items you make, items you find. I think I think you can get items off um, adventurers as well when, when you kill them. So that's pretty cool. Oh, dig them. Thank you. So there we go. Now the imps will go and store everything. Um, why they're storing them one by one, I have no idea. But you can pile. They do pile. Um, they do stack. Is what I meant, not pile. They do stack. Although it looks like it, they're not actually stacking them very well. Silly imps. Really silly imps. Yeah, there we go. At least we've got some wood in there. That's always a good. That's always a good sign. So I'm just going to quickly pause it here. So the first thing we're going to make is beds. So I'm going to stick some beds there, like so. Uh, eight will do. Let's say eight, yep, yeah, eight will do. So the imps will, after they've finished storing, they're going to make the beds. And then they are going to uh, put them down. There we go, as you can see, we've got our first few beds. So now we've done that, we now need a library to research. Now we don't really have enough room to do that just yet. So guess what we need to do next? Yes, that's right. More diggy diggy holes. Yes. So let's... Uh, build it over here actually. I'm gonna make sure that they get this pocket here. I'm just hoping that that there isn't an entrance because if it is, then we might have buggered this up a little bit. Only a little bit, don't mind. I just I do want to try and keep one entrance so I can at least I can just put a single alarm trap there and whatnot. But so far so good. We've got plenty of wood. We might need more. Nah, we've got plenty. There's still plenty on the floor there. They haven't bothered picking up. Typical. Yes, come on, imp. Bloody work your magic. Come on, come on. It's a shame you can't research uh, faster mining speeds or something like that. That'd be really cool as well. I'm pretty sure some monsters that you can summon as well can help with 
the uh, grunt work. Not 100% sure on that, but we're going to summon about uh, four gnomes. There we go, we've got four gnomes now. And as you can see, we've got some gnomes. Here they are, they're right by the bed. You can click, We can attempt to click on one, but it's not going to do anything. Uh, so we can click on one, and we can see... And so they're level one. They have no equipment. Description. An arm is a medium humanoid creature. It's weak, clumsy, and slow. Typical. But you can also get them to the tasks. So what we're probably going to end up doing soon, once we've built one, is we're going to get, get some of them to work in the lab and some of them to work in the workshop to produce items. So that seems like a really good idea. And our keeper will actually um, do study work. There we go. Not going to be able to do it just yet. We need to wait till the library is actually built. Which will be soon. As soon as these imps get off the vases and mine. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. Come on. I'm very tempted to summon another one, even though it will cost mana. Screw it. There we go. So you just click it and you can click anywhere and they'll summon. And then we've got five imps. Now obviously, as you can see, the mana cost has actually gone up. So you need to be careful about summoning too many imps. But, of course, if they do die and they go back down to four or three... Uh, I think the first three imps are actually three, or first four imps are three. Anything after that, you need to pay mana for. And here we go, so we've actually got a, sp a spare, spare, an empty space here. So we are going to build a library now. Libraries are really interesting in this game. Now as you can see, I'm, I'm making just four tiles here. But for... More, if you want to keep doing research, you have to expand the library, which is a really cool kind of concept. It means you need to be careful about how you're expanding it. So as you can see, we've actually got a few things we can actually uh, do here. So let's um, let's do crafting. There we go. So we have 13 mana left, and there's 59 needed to advance. So our keeper's actually reading the library, though. He's in the library, learning, and he's gaining mana because of it. So that's really cool. Now we need to build a workshop to produce equipment and traps. So maybe what we could do here is make a little extension. Or actually, yeah, just make a big extension here. That's fine. There we go. Let's do that. That sounds like a terrific idea. And I'll build the um, the workshop on the opposite side. There we go. Now the one thing I actually really enjoy doing in the dungeons, the Dark Lord, is being able to trap your victims and squeeze the soul out of them. You can kind of do that here as well. You can actually build a prison and you've got a torture room and you can squeeze more mana out of them, which is really nice. Okay, so build a workshop to produce equipment and traps, and that's what we're going to do. So how much are you, how much, uh, how much we got? We've got loads of irons, that's fine. So we're going to build one, two, three, four, that'll do. Excellent. Now what we need to do is make sure that um, two of our gnomes are at the workshop and two of our gnomes are at the lab. There we go. And I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> there we go. Done and done. So the imps will go there and they'll uh, build the stuff uh, like so. And there we go. And then we need a laboratory to produce potions. Because without potions, we will probably very easily die. So, uh, for that, we actually need stone. We need alchemy. So, how much mana have we got? We've actually got 161 mana, which is really nice. Uh, that will go very soon, though. So, no, not quite a big deal there. So, what should we do? Should we... Yeah, let's go for alchemy. Let's build one. There we go. So, now we can build a... Laboratory. No! Laboratory. Or whatever you want to bloody pronounce it, I don't really care. Uh, maybe we could make a side room here. So if I do that, and then I get this mined out, like so. And maybe I should think about doing the same here. So if I do that, have a little bit of a thing there, and then go like that, that might knock it there. Yeah. For some reason, it does that. As I said earlier on. But that's fine. So I have no idea when the first adventure is going to come. You do get some sort of warning. But as you can see we haven't really uh, come across anything yet. And we really could do with maybe building stuff. Ready. Maybe we could summon... Uh, we can still need summon gnomes though. We probably need goblins. Goblins or ogres might be quite nice. 
Uh, maybe we should research that next. We need 70 need to advance, but we need a larger library, you see, so, so <coughs> this is what I meant. You need to try and expand your library uh, before you can learn new stuff, so we're going to need probably Universe 4. There we go, 2 by 2 there. Let's do that. But I have him so busy diggy 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 for some lovely lovely iron, so might take a bit of time. Shame the gnomes can't do grunt work like that, but at least they can, you know, craft and stuff. And as you can see, we're actually crafting a little bit there. We might need to expand this. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to, I think. Wow, I'm going through a lot of storage space very quickly, and I don't like that. So let's, yeah, let's all early save to here and put those storage. Now, obviously, it's very basic. The storage will, of course, just store in if we need it's going to be no in particular order. That might come later, you know, being able to store each individual item into a, a particular storage room would be really nice, you know. But for now, it's just random. <laughs> and as you can see, we've actually got a few things. I wonder if they automatically equip. That is interesting. I don't actually know if they do that. Well, someone's sleeping, so that's good. Uh, but you're not doing anything. Okay. Uh, crafting. No, dismiss that. But you're crafting. Have you got anything equipped? Nope. Okay, that's a good start. What about you? Have you got anything equipped? Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, I can see where this is going. Are you uh, got anything equipped? No, you haven't got anything equipped. Okay. Excellent. So let me see if we can actually equip one of these so we've got boots there okay so we've got oh oh the keepers nicked one that's why that makes more sense actually so the keeper automatically equips that so I'm gonna equip one of my um, one of my gnomes with that one so that's pretty cool very uh, dwarf fortressy um, gnome obvious style kind of uh, thing there with the equipping I don't know if he's actually going to equip it though, he might still be asleep, it looks like he's asleep. And um, it would be nice if you could see like a few Zeds just to, you know, visually see that they're sleeping. But it's no big deal, that's not a big deal at this point. So there we go, he's now equipped his boots, yay. So maybe we could probably do it with uh, more gnomes actually working on uh, crafting more, maybe. Um, or maybe what I should just do is get more gnomes, full stop. That might not be a bad idea. One, two, three, four. There we go. So now we've run out of space. But that's not a big deal. Okay, now what can we do here? We can start armor, uh, iron working, which would be a good idea. There we go. And then that'll give us 20 weapons, which I think I'm going to take as well, possibly. But I don't know if... I don't think gnomes can carry two anders just yet. Or at all. Let me, uh, let me just check. Can they... No, they can't. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, not a big deal. Um, let me. I actually want to get a few training because obviously they're level one. They're pretty poo. So I'll get them training. Uh, we do. We are going to need a training room of some sort. I'm debating about putting it right at the start of the dungeon. Maybe, but I'm not too sure. Maybe we want to lure them in a little bit. I'm not too sure I want to do it. At all, I mean, I mean, literally at all. I'm not too sure how to do it. Whether it's worthwhile to get them inside the dungeon first, and then hack them to death, or I don't know. I tell you what, though, I think actually we'll we might stick them over here. Yeah, let's stick them over here. So I'm actually going to stick. Uh, yeah, four should do. Should four should be enough. Then we've got our lab, which we're going to need to build as well. So I'm going to build. Uh, three labs for the time being, that should be enough. We might need a few more libraries as well, so I'm going to build another row of four here. We probably will need more workshops as we're crafting more stuff, so I'm going to build another five there. Have we got enough wood? Probably not. Um, actually, we probably have, it's just that no, none of the imps are actually bothering with the storage. I might get another imp. Yeah, that's a good idea. Is that all the cost? Fuck it, get two more. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we should build a treasure room as well. Maybe if we put a treasure room over here, then adventurers might be lured into that particular room instead. 
and then we could put some evil traps. That, that's it. That, that sounds like a cracking idea. Oh yeah, I actually like the sound of that. So let's build two. Let's do four. There we go. <laughs> evil, evil, evil. <coughs> so evil that I'm fucking <coughs> choking to <coughs> death. Ugh. Wow. Don't do that again, think. Yeah, oh well, don't worry. <sighs> Crikey. Okay, so maybe we should actually think about digging out a prison as well and torture room. That sounds like a terrific idea. If I make this a little bit bigger, and then we can have this cut off like so, and then make... Hang on. There we go, get rid of that. And then we'll make a separate room. Oops, I'm not pressing shift. Bollocks. There we go. And make a little separate room here for the prison. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Excellent. Really liking this. I'm really surprised they haven't been as aggressive as they should be, though. I'm pretty sure they should be a lot more aggressive than this. And it looks like all them coins have gone into that one treasure chest, which I'm not very happy about. Okay, I wonder if there is a, um auto-equip mechanic here. I know there's going to be on the Keeper. That's a bit obvious because the Keeper's just robbed everything, which is not really surprising. It's actually got a few first aid kits as well, which is cool. Um, I'm just thinking if the gnomes rob anything. I mean, it looks like they don't. Um, can you auto-equip? Hmm, doesn't look like it. There is consumables, though. I think what I'm going to do is, since some of them are working on crafting, oh god, they're all working on crafting, I thought I got some of them to train, please train, if you forego train at the bottom, yeah, you forego train, like so, there you go, now, go ahead and do it, yeah, go, go and do it, there you go, now go train, there we go, now we're going somewhere, excellent, so that was a training, now hopefully their level will actually go up and they'll be somewhat decent. So, they what some of them gonna need a sword and maybe armor. That's a decent uh, armor set there. Decent helm, decent boots. No amulet, but we can use a first aid kit, so let's get that. There we go. Excellent. Um just the one. Just the one's fine. Now what about the go away? <laughs> now what about the next one? Uh, okay, so there's no free weapon yet. Uh, but there is free armor. That's fine. And that one. That's fine. No boots. Side face. And a first aid kit. There we go. So now... Uh, where's the next one? There might not be much equipment there for this one. Apart from maybe a chain armor. I don't think there's anything else though. Okay, that's fine. We definitely need more um, crafting, I think. So I think what I'm going to actually end up doing is making a way few more beds. I'm actually just going to fill this entire area with beds. That might not be the best idea. I don't know if adventurers can break the beds. Which would be pretty shitty if they could. It would make sense that they could. So this is probably a really poor design. But hey, you know what? As I said, I've only played for an hour. I don't. I am. I am very good with bloody designs. But once I know what I'm doing, there uh, shouldn't be too bad. Now we might want to learn goblins. There we go. Now we have got some gobbles. Yes. Um, we do need to summon them though, and they are quite expensive. They are fifty, and we've only got ninety-nine mana, so we'll do that. Now I actually wonder if they've got different. Ah, they can carry two handy weapons. That is superb. So I think we'll learn that next. Um, they, yeah, we want you training because you look like a mean bastard. Um, I'm very tempted to nick the gnome's sword off him. <laughs> as, uh, as tempting as it is. Description. The goblin is a large humanoid creature. It is weak, clumsy, and slow. So everyone's weak, clumsy, and slow. But that's going to help a lot, isn't it? Okay, let's keep it running. Um, well, we'll make more stuff. Okay, so the MC is still gaming wood, which we obviously do need. Uh, we've got 442 gold. Wow. Is that in one chest? Jesus. Okay. Not a big deal. Now what I might want to do is make an alarm trap, which I can't do yet. I might need to research them. Yeah, I need to research them. Um, do, 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 No, I just need the mana now. So yeah, might as well wait for the mana, for the mana to... Where are you going? You're not going to sleep, are you? 
Where the hell are you going? Go back there and read. You bastard. Go back and read. There we go. Okay. Traps or two-handed? Mmm, so tempting. Yes, get traps. So, uh, we need an alarm trap, which will be here. This will tell us if um, if anyone's coming. Maybe a door might be a useful idea as well. Just stick one. Stick one there. Stick one there. Stick one there. There we go. Okay. Probably not the best place for the uh, alarm, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Okay. So, it doesn't look too bad so far. I mean, that was a training. I probably do need another trainer, training uh, thing now. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, I need to be in prison and stuff as well. Shit. I'm a little bit behind. Okay, so, me training room. That's what I need. So, build another training room. I might actually just fill this up. I mean, it's, is it iron it needs? Nah, screw it. A lot of training rooms there. And maybe even two, uh, three more workshops. There we go. That'll do for now. Oh, yeah. No prison and torture rooms actually do need iron. Damn it. Well, to be fair, there is actually this space up here which we can use. So let's do that. I'm surprised that none of the adventurers have come yet. Especially considering this is supposed to be an aggressive. That is really weird. Would have at least expected them by now. Oh, well. Um, one can pray and hope. <laughs> hope they never fucking come. But, you know. That would be that would make the game boring then, that wouldn't it? Of course it would. Okay, let's get some more trees on the rip. Come on. We need more wood. We we don't, but we need more wood. So get to it. And as you can see we've actually got a lot of potions now. Now I'm actually wondering it looks like he, he's carrying a weapon. So I'm actually wondering if they do auto equip. Let me have a look. Yes, it looks like they do equip. That's actually really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna leave, I'm just gonna leave it go automatically. Then that's actually really good. I gotta worry about that now. But once we do get two anders, and if we do make two anders, now I might have to do it manually. They might they might not go and pick up the better gear, especially if they can if they're the only ones that can use it. So I have no idea. Why, why is there a gas trap there? I'm not bothered about a gas trap. Just just put the damn alarm. Thank you. My God. Okay, so we've actually got a couple more traps ready. Web trap. Okay, let's stick one there. That seems like a good idea. Stick a web trap there. What's the gas trap? Now, hang on. Where's my pedia? What is the gas trap? I mean, it sounds like it. It sounds like it would the damage, but you don't know with these. So, release the code of poisonous gas. Yeah. Okay then. So I was pretty much right on the bat there. So, a gas trap followed by a slow trap. That sounds like a good idea. Doesn't it? There we go. I'm just wondering when our first uh, venture is going to come knocking on the door. I'm a bit worried. Um, I'm not interested sure what these skulls are either. Is that how many we've killed or how many people that have died? Or I honestly have no idea. And this is getting dark. So maybe we should start building a few torches. I mean, torches aren't really that much anyway, so we might as well. Torch, torch. Torch over here. Torch here. There we go, that'll do. I'm just brighten the place up a little bit. Make it look nice. Ah, oh. yeah, nice. Uh, how much mana have we got? 200 mana. Let's see what we can learn. Maybe the two-hander would be a nice thing to learn now. Yeah, let's do that. And then maybe sorcery, so we can learn some more spells. Uh, I'm just thinking there's anything else. I mean, we've got 82 mana now. I might I might make another goblin. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to summon another goblin. Screw it. There we go. Excellent. I don't know if I'm going to bother with beasts. From what I've heard, beasts aren't particularly uh, great. But we might do anyway. So that's not a big problem. I'm not actually too sure how long this video has been on for now. It's probably been for about half an hour. I think I might have to put a cut in here for the time being. So, okay then, I'm going to stick a cut in here. And I shall see you very shortly.